What is up everybody? This is Brian the Toyota Guy over here at Fred Anderson Toyota and uh, today I'm going to talk about everybody's favorite topic of conversation and that is the uh, remote start feature with the key fob on your 2018 and newer Toyota. Um, I made a previous video, uh, much like many people did, uh, when everything first came out about this whole remote start conundrum with uh, will you or won't you have to pay Toyota to use remote start. Um, I made a video and information was still coming out and Toyota being Toyota, um, they were doing a pretty poor job at correcting information and you know whether this is true or not, but Toyota was even making it sound like they didn't even know that that was going to be a problem or that people were going to be charged to use remote start with their key. So regardless of if that's the truth or not or um, what's going on there, I want to go ahead and clarify and basically set the record straight from everything that I've been able to find um, that is current and up to date with this whole key fob thing. Now, I don't know if some of this information was out before when I made the video back in like December time frame, or if some of this information was released after the fact, um, or for all I know, maybe Toyota's even changed their stance on the whole entire thing um, since before, because I've been reading that that's been talked about, but I don't know if it's actually been published or rescinded or, or anything like that. Um, so let's just get into it. All right, so this time I took some notes. Um, so I swear to God, if I get anything wrong this time, I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys because apparently you guys love to comment about it. I encourage that. And I think even somebody's called the dealership now um, just to try to put their own opinion into it. But anywho, so here's the main uh, bullet points on how this whole uh, remote start and remote connect is working. So for the most part, this only applies on 2018 and newer Toyotas. Um, basically any of the Toyotas that have this new uh, module, some new computer, I think they call it like the uh, connection module, it's like a BCM or something like that. Um, that seems to be the main hardware that's made the difference between the newer 19 and 20 and up models compared to the previous ones. So if you have an older than 2018 vehicle that already has remote start working through the key fob, from what I understand, nothing changes there. Um, so that should continue to work as far as we know indefinitely. Uh, where the changes are, are on all the newer ones. And the I've got the list printed out and I've got some notes made on them, but the main thing to know is if you do want to use the remote connect, and that is the feature uh, where you can start your phone with the app. Um, this is something that I was correct on before. Um, that is the uh, $8 a month or $80 a year charge. Now, some of the cars have a six month uh, free trial on that service when they're bought brand new. Uh, some of them have a one year free trial. I think all the new Toyotas now like 2022 and somewhere between like 2020 and up um, now have a one year uh, remote connect free trial. Um, but as far as using remote start with your key fob, the first thing is you definitely do have to have some form of free trial or subscription to any part of remote services. And that is of course Remote Connect, um, that is Service Connect, which is something I'll get into, um, or Safety Connect. That's the three main services. And based on what Toyota's published, and I think I've got another screenshot, of, it might even be the same screenshot I had before, but as long as any one of those is either turned on or in the free trial period, um, the key fob remote start will work. Um, so that is the three main bullet points. Um, if you get to the end of that, um, free trial, which again, I'll get into this little breakdown here in a second. Um, some of them are three years. Some of them are up to 10 years, but I'm pretty sure, and I'll double check my notes here, but all the 22 uh, model Toyotas that have this feature um, will have it free for 10 years um, before you'll have to pay for something, whether you pay for a service connect, or remote connect, or safety connect, or any of that kind of stuff. Um, so that is the update. So that is the reason why uh, when I was making the video before, I think I'd used a RAV4 or something like that to talk about the remote start and it was still working. Um, even though it was, I think a 2019 or 2020, it was still within the three year free trial on Service Connect. So that is the reason why the key fob was still working. Um, it's really interesting because some of this stuff, I'm curious how it applies to used vehicles. I know that the, the way it reads is everything still is the same. But obviously there's, I feel like there's people that will turn in vehicles and don't turn off some of those features or 
don't disconnect those features from their app. So obviously if you are buying a pre-owned vehicle, um, you're gonna be at the mercy of wherever that vehicle is in its timeline since it was sold new. And then if you're looking to use any of those services, you'll wanna go ahead and download the Toyota app and go ahead and get everything opt-in. And you might even have to hit the SOS button for the non-emergency um, call. That's that little red button that's on the uh, dashboard near the sunroof controls or dome light controls to let Toyota know that that vehicle is no longer owned by somebody else and it's owned by you. Um, so that's that's the big three things there. Now, the other big item, if you're trying to figure out, you know, does my 2018 and up even have this remote start feature is you pretty much have to have uh, one of two things. You either have to have the, it's pretty much audio plus or the premium audio. Um, so if you're looking at a standard audio package, which is most of like your L, LEs, things like that, you're not gonna have any of this, so this video isn't for you. If you have an XLE, like a RAV4, or something like that, you may or may not. It just depends on if you have the audio plus or the premium audio. A lot of that is gonna be easy to tell right off the window sticker if you're looking at a new vehicle or reading about it online, if it's an allocated unit. Um, or a lot of times there's other features that are built in like the larger screen. I believe the uh, premium audio has the JBL stereo. So if you've got the JBL logo, you should have it. Um, but so that is the, the basic points. Now what I've got here is a printout of some of the differences between 2018 to now, or at least 2018 to 2022, um, in case this video is still being watched a year from now. And I'll kind of go over the notes that I found on the breakdown on, I guess, some of the differences with vehicles and, and what's changed over time. So let's take a look. All right, so these are printed off. Um, I could have done screenshots and stuff, but I wanted to draw on them and make notes. But these are printed off the uh, Toyota Connected Services website. Um, if you go under the Connected Services, down near the bottom, you can get a, a vehicle uh, breakdown by year. Um, so just to kind of show you some of the main things. So again, 2018 is when all of this um, basically started. And if we look here, this list is extremely short. It's one page. So in 2018, basically you only had the Camry, the Mirai, and um, you know, I don't know why the Sienna is honestly on here. I guess I had the Wi-Fi connect and destination assist, but uh, that was the first year for this new body style Camry, uh, as well as the CHR. So it makes sense that it shows up on here. But in 2018, you can see here, Remote Connect has a six month free trial. And again, it's only on the Audio Plus and Premium. Uh, that's the Intune 3.0, that's the newer screen there. It's got the Apple CarPlay and everything else. Uh, but you can see the Remote Connect is six months or uh, the subscription starts after that. And that is again, for the Remote Start with the phone app. Service Connect, which is already included as a three year subscription, as long as it's opted in, uh, will give you a free Remote Start from your key fob. And that is the longest that it goes is uh, three years. So if you got a, if you're looking at a 2018 in uh, you know 2022 or newer, then there's a good chance that the key fob's not going to work unless uh, something is paid for here. Uh, what's crazy is you know again this this is just a problem with Toyota. Um, so you can see they list on here the destination assist connect. That's the uh, basically directions over the phone, if you will, over the emergency button, the SOS button. Um, you can see they list the pricing on the remote connect, but notice what else is missing. They do have safety connect, the service connect. Um, they don't really talk about on here. It says it's not renewable, it's a standalone product. So it's like, you'll have to have safety connect, remote connect, or one of these other things. So just already, even if you dig even deeper than what everybody's talked about so far, uh, Toyota again is just all over the board with these features. And of course what sucks is, from what I understand is if you want to have destination assist and you want to have remote connect and you like safety connect to me, those look are like they are three separate products. So again, that's not the point of this video, but it's just the uh, annoying thing about Toyota in my opinion. And I'm a Toyota lover. I work for Toyota, but anywho, that's 2018. So 2019, um, no change on the service connect for three years or remote connect for six months. Um, the only big change is that 2019, um, brought out the new Avalon, um, the new hatchback, the new body style RAV4. And you can see, I kind of marked on here again, no, no change to the previous one. As long as you have the audio plus or the premium in tune 3.0 stereo, um, you can see you've got those features standard. So again, 2019, uh, depending on when it was sold, as long as it had that stereo, the key fob will still work today. Um, that is it for the 2019 vehicles. 
Now, 2020, I went ahead and put some little stars on here. This is when uh, things get a little bit interesting. So, as you can see here, now we've got the 2020 Forerunner, which is when they finally upgraded uh, some of the stereo components. So you can see there, if you get a uh, limited TRD Pro or Nightshade Edition, um, you will have the Service Connect for 10 years and the Remote Connect for one year. 2020 was when they moved from six months to one year. Um, and then you can also see what I like about this chart. And you can tell that again, Toyota's just getting a little bit better over time at breaking this stuff down is on the previous chart. They didn't really tell you what trim levels or models or whatever would have these different stereo components. But now on all of the newer charts, if you're looking at this online, um, you can see what trim levels have these things standard and what have them optional uh, via a package of some kind, something like that. Like the uh, premium audio for the 4Runner, I'm sure it has something to do with um, like the uh, SR5 premium, TRD off-road premium, but you can still see the 4Runner SR5 Premium does not have the service connect or remote connect. So just to kind of give you a quick breakdown, you can see there's the uh, 2020 Camry, um, XLE, XSE, uh, the V6 model, so on and so forth. Corolla hatchback, XSE, um, SE can get it. But you can see there it is, um, standard on some of those trim levels. Uh, 2020 Highlander is on the list. And now we actually have a second page. Um, here's the Avalon. Uh, there's more listings on the regular Corolla, not the hatchback. Um, and the 2020 continues. Um, so here's some more vehicles and I'll just, you know, kind of leave this on here in case you want to see it. Looks like Sequoia has some options on there, surprisingly. So that's all for 2020. So now going into 2021, um, you can see the, the chart gets even more crazy. So no change on remote connect for one year or service connect for up to 10 years. So just to, just to rehash, even after the one year subscription for remote connect ends, the 10 year service connect free trial will still allow you to use the key fob to start the car. That's, that's the main clarification is you have up to 10 years to do remote start with your key fob, which I think kind of dumb in my opinion, but at least it's better than everybody thought. You don't actually have to pay for it. Use it with your key fob only on the app. So I'm not going to go through the breakdown of all these vehicles, but obviously 2021 uh, brought some new or updated vehicles into the lineup. Um, so again, the list is extensive. Uh, I'm not going to go through it all. They're all on the website. Um, and then, so I'm just going to skip to 2022 now. And man, this truck gets even crazier because now they've got all kinds of stuff because they've got the new Tundra. Uh, with all the new software, they've got dynamic navigation and all kinds of things that are showing up now. Um, so as you can kind of see here, Safety Connect is one year, Service Connect is still 10 years. But the main thing to note here is that there are a crap ton more vehicles now um, that have uh, these features built in. So if you're looking at a 2022, the, the, the idea that you can get this remote start with the key fob or your phone is much more common. Again, you still have to have the Audio Plus or the Premium Audio. Uh, nothing has changed there, but there's just a lot more uh, options on here. Not all of them still have it, but at least it's better than it was before. Um, so it looks like pretty much for uh, some of the vehicles, and I did want to note, let me see if there was anything else. Um, no. So it's not all vehicles are the same. So Toyota being Toyota, if you look at some of the vehicles here, this is a the 2022 GR86, the new version that just came out. And of course that's a Subaru and Toyota products. So I'm sure this is, has something to do with that. But you can see a remote connect, still standard for one year, but service connect only comes with a one year trial. Um, same thing is also going on with the uh, Prius. So interestingly enough, it's like this new uh, premium audio with integrated navigation that they have seems to be also only giving you a three-year trial for service connect so that also means that you don't have a three-year trial for your key fob um, interestingly enough if you get the um, standard audio package again toyota is just so terrible at at, uh, at keeping things the same between their models but it looks like if you have just about any other model prius even the l eco uh, well i'm sorry the l eco does not have remote connect um, so just ignore that. But um, so there's definitely some differences on here. So really the best thing I could recommend is if you're curious on what vehicle um, you have, if it has the program or not, you definitely need to look into this. Um, you know, here's the Prius Prime that does have remote connect. Uh, there's the Audio Plus, again, same as before. Um, and I don't think I had any other major notes for these. 
Um, here's the 2022 Tacoma just for uh, kicks and giggles. Uh, TRD Pro, TRD Sport, TRD Off-Road have remote connect. And then they also have uh, service connect. <sighs> All right, so hopefully that uh, clarification helps to correct things that uh, I might have misunderstood and misspoke on my last video. I think probably the number one thing that I made the mistake of on my last video is uh, that you did not have to have a subscription to Connected Services, which is my bad. Um, I just did not understand all the minutia between stuff and it was kind of hard to find stuff at the time. Uh, but from what I understand, this is the most accurate information um, and it doesn't seem to be having any more fresh conversations going on right now. Um, so yeah, um, that should do it. By all means, uh, if I've messed up something, let me know. I uh, just put it down in the comments or reach out to me on Facebook. But as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.